As millions of Nigerians across the country witness the beginning of a new administration, many are curious about the areas that will be given priority by the new president. Trust TV's Abdurrahman Umar speaks with political analysts who examined President Tinubu's proposed policies and agenda for the country. Examining President Bola Tinubu's plans for Nigeria's economic development, job creation, infrastructure as well as tackling Nigeria's pressing challenges such as poverty and insecurity. Analysts say President Bola Tinubu has the requisite knowledge and capacity to revamp Nigeria's economy. Lagos is even more difficult to run and to succeed than even other countries with due respect. And this is the first priority for the president and commander-in-chief. And he must, as a matter of urgency as a commander-in-chief, pay on the spot visit. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, since before swearing in as the 16th president of Nigeria, has pledged to create jobs for millions of unemployed Nigerian youths. Although past leaders have met similar promises of job creation, rebumping the economy as well as tackling insecurity, but failed to fulfill such promises, a policy analyst, Baba Yusuf, says the new administration under Tinubu would work tirelessly to deliver on the Renewed Hope agenda. The Renewed Hope agenda is a robust document that has spoken to some critical issues that I believe are very important to the crit critical next steps, if you like, of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that in the next two to three months, we are going to see impact. On tackling insecurity, a security expert, Salud Tata believes a total restructuring of the security architecture in the country is what Nigeria needs at the moment. Well, even though he talked about uh, reforms in his inaugural speech, I think it goes beyond that. What the Nigerian security from the armed forces, police, paramilitary and others deserves and needs now is total restructuring for efficiency. For the director of Abuja School of Social and Political Thoughts, Dr. Sam Ahmadi, what the president needs is to quickly appoint the right people who will get the job done while unifying the country. I think the, the, the president has access to the right kind of people, I think. I mean, having the governor for it is in a complex state like Lagos, with all, it's a cosmopolitan with all the diversity, the brain power. So he would lack people of idea. Amadi said the president will not find this a difficult task since he has been actively involved in the democratic life of the nation since the beginning of the Fourth Republic. So he has been around not just as governor but for the past 60 years one can argue that he has been actively involved in discussing public policy. But what he needs to find quickly is the political will to get the right people into office. Although many believe that President Tinubu recorded unprecedented development as governor of Lagos State and can replicate same in Nigeria, others have contrary views. In fact, if you want to do a comparative analysis in terms of numbers, the population of Lagos is bigger than other countries where you have uh, that are federal republics. You know, so the performance or the expectation should not be zeroed down within the geographical size of a location, but indeed the complexity of that entity. Despite the fact that rival political parties are in court seeking redress over the conduct of the 2023 presidential elections, supporters of the president believe there is renewed hope for the country. Abdurrahman Umar, Trust TV News, Abuja.